How are you guys doing? Welcome to today's lesson 31, how to use and abuse analysts, right? So we have folks out there who are actually professionals at this, who run hedge funds or run people's money, retirement accounts for jobs. We're going to talk about how they do this professionally and how we can use their knowledge or lack thereof sometimes to our advantage. Today's topic, so the first will be price targets. How, who makes these? Right? How do you possibly say this is worth $1,200 based on what? I'm sure that they do really good research, but again, let's talk about how we can use that to our advantage and how price targets do matter, even if they're just fabricated numbers, right? We're also gonna discuss amateur price targets and how sometimes when enough folks in a group scream the same amount, it doesn't actually mean it's going there, but again, echo chambers are violently, violently uh, toxic if you get caught in them. So again, avoiding echo chambers and price targets from amateurs in the first place is probably a good idea. We'll talk about that today as well. So the price targets, the first topic, the second is the actual analysts and investors making the call. Are these people just talking out their butt? Like, uh, do they own this in their portfolio? Is this just sentiment? Uh, who is buying this? Where and how often? Uh, what else do these people hold? Like if someone's calling Amazon as a buy, are they also holding other tech stocks that are big, like other blue chips? Or are they just buying this one? What What's the context behind why these analysts and who they are are buying what they buy? We'll check that out today as well. We're also gonna discuss bloggers today. I don't think bloggers are all that important all the time, but when a lot of people pick up steam on ticker, yeah, they're gonna keep screaming, short squeeze, short squeeze, short squeeze, short squeeze, or they keep screaming, wish, 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 PLTR, 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 whatever it is. A lot of folks pick it up. You can definitely use retail traders to your advantage We'll talk about how bloggers impact this and how to find what they're talking about uh, in today's lesson for sure. We're then gonna discuss insiders and how insider trading does matter. Everyone who owns large parts of the company work there sell off, it's probably a bad sign. But if everyone who owns it buys more and more and more before a therapeutic play or a biofarm play, it's probably gonna be good news. How do you find that out? I'll show you today. And then quickly, we're talking about the news. Again, do you trust the news? I'm not Mr left, Mr. Right. I'm just saying, is the news trustworthy where it's coming from? Is there a consensus in the news? If so, great. Use it to your advantage. If not, stay away from it. Let's check out where you can find some great news websites on stocks. And of course, that could be useful for uh, volatility and volume. But again, news, big deal when properly packaged. We'll check that out today as well. We're also going to talk about hedge funds because, again, they have a bunch of money. If a bunch of hedge funds buy something, it's going to push the price up. If you catch that early, it could be good for you. And if a lot of them start selling, again, that should be a signal to you. Something has happened. You may want to look into it. So hedge fund activity is very important as well. Lastly, we're going to cover politicians. I, I mentioned this last time, but I'm showing you some great websites on how within 45 days, they must announce what they're buying in their portfolios for their own personal gain. I'll show you some websites on how to track that. And again, if you can get somebody who discloses within a few days, it could be a great, great tool for you to see what they're buying and why. That's everything for lesson 31. We got like a bunch of websites to check out and go through together. I'm pretty excited for this one. With that being said, let's get into it. So first is price targets. Again, I think most folks know what a price target is. Again, most price targets are for a year away. And all it's saying is that, hey, this certified financial planner, this hedge fund manager, this broker, whoever works here, someone is saying that a ticker is gonna hit a certain price. That is a price target, right? Obvious. So I have some great websites to look at and where we can find price targets. And I'm gonna show you these right now. Go over these and then some caveats and some catches with price targets you should know about to protect yourself. Let's check this out real quick. So this is marketbeat.com, marketbeat.com, uh, B-A-T. We can see a nice website here, analyst price targets for A12 2021. What we're gonna look at, and again, this is down below and all the links, what price targets have changed today and why? It's gonna give you some great ratings, go through everything that's changed, let's see what it shows us, right? So we can see on this website, every single ticker today that has had a price target change is listed. From some professional, it's all good to go. So we can see a lot of folks, for example, let's look at like BLI had two from Berkeley Lights. Target has been lowered by them, right? So we have Morgan Stanley and BTIG research lower them from 70 to 65 and 73 to 66, right? So again, if you are holding BLI, if you're trying to buy a stock, maybe BLI is not the best choice unless price is over, good short then. 
But at this point, BLI had to lower it. So again, you can start doing the research. That's that qualitative. Why did BLI get dropped? This is a great website to find these kinds of things. We can go through all of them. We can see price target lower lord. CAE got raised by three of them. TD Securities, so, so Scotia Bank, they're Canadian, and CIBC. Again, a small one of about two bucks, three bucks, no big deal. You go through all these again. 72 to 90 is a big move here. 86 to 89. 470 to 54 is a big one. And you can go through every single one of these. If you're like, I want to know what, what Raymond James is saying here. You can click this button right here, view rating details, and it'll give you all the information you want to know. Again, I don't have the premium. I'm only going to show you free resources. I have some premium ones I'll show you. But again, I want to make sure this is for good beginners who don't want to spend an arm and a leg off the bat to see if they like this kind of things. But again, you can definitely look up this research by yourself and I'll show you. So you just copy and paste it. This is a good one, investing.com. They want you to pay for it. You just come over here and you can see that they're actually dropping it right here pretty well. So they're saying this is going to be dropping and you can probably find a bunch of free information. I'm sure there's not going to be a lot on it. This is not like a big, a big stock by any means, right? So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But you can definitely go through and find some other information. I wouldn't pay for it. I don't think it's that important. But we can clearly see that Raymond James said that this is going to be dropping. And again, the price target being lower is a big deal. Again, it's at 38. They're saying it's not going to go up as much. That's a pretty big deal. So that's a great website. I really do enjoy Market Beat to find price target changes. Because again, if you know a ticker, like I know CDE pretty well. I've traded that before. And now that I see it's been upgraded, I can go back and check and check it out and see how it's doing. But again, three companies saying CDE has been improved. There's some stuff there. I would definitely follow up on that, right? So this is tip ranks. Uh, I actually pay for tip ranks. You can, you're gonna have this one says all analysts here. I have the top analysts selected, but you can see again, it lays it out nicely for you. We see most folks say Apple's gonna hit 185. The average is 162, the low being 90. Again, the issue is, this is the low is 90, so it's kind of making an average kind of weird, but only two say sell, 19 say buy. And you can come down and see what they're doing, right? Brian White, 74% win rate. He says 23% upside. Tony, less win rate is saying it's going to go down. Rod Hall, not great, is saying it's going to go down. So again, the two guys who are losing are saying go, it's going to go down. But you got someone like, you know, Samik over here who wins pretty often. You know, same as this guy. But again, he has a better win rate. Same with Catherine here. Right, they're all saying buy. Everyone says buy, 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 buy. That's a great thing. Also, what's nice is they don't actually make you pay for the articles. So we can see you click here. It gives you all the news you need to know about this. Again, this is qualitative data you want to kind of collect as time goes on. So I really enjoy tip ranks for that reason. We're gonna cover tip ranks quite a few times through this uh, this unit itself. It's a fantastic resource. So that's where a price target is, the best place to find them, and when they change. Now there are some caveats. I wanna cover that real quick. It's important to note that most price targets on these websites are based off of a year. So from right where you are now until a year later, that's what you're looking at from, I guess, today until 365 days from now, that's what they're talking about. So when they say Apple has a chance of probably hitting about 24%, 25% higher, they don't mean tomorrow, they mean within a year. That's a very important thing to understand because you're scalping your day trading. That's not a lot of volatility. It's not really gonna be surging how you want it to be. There's plenty of stocks that have 200, 300% price targets because they're pharma plays and they have some really good stuff coming. But again, if your goal is to make a bunch of money quick, Apple has about 9% overhead to go 9% room to move that's not going to be the best day trading thing right but if you're swinging for three to four weeks to a month you know to two months a swing here makes a whole lot of sense 25 people said buy it's pretty good two folks said sell i bet within three months we'll probably agree on this trade that's a great thing to see but if your goals are to make money quick or you want to be less risky again make sure the price targets within that year checks out for your goal setting as we talked about before another thing to note and this is a great point to make. I think most people who make price targets already own the stock. Honestly, if someone's like, Apple's gonna go up 30%, you're not gonna buy that? Why would you not buy that, right? So most folks who actually make these price targets who work for these firms already own it or they're planning on buying it. So again, I don't think that's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's important to recognize mental analysis wise, they have a group of people say they're gonna buy it and the price target's pretty far away. They probably have skin in the game and I would be not nervous, but I'd be aware of that fact, right? You can easily look at Twitter and see everyone making price targets like on Wish, PLTR, CCIV, all these big popular stocks, AMC, GME, whatever it is, Tesla. They probably have skin in the game. So again, take what they say with a grain of salt, professionals included. What you're gonna notice, I'll talk about this later too, 
most folks who make a price target, they're gonna sell 10, 5% lower to make sure they get what they wanted, right? Their price target is 800% up.